<clears throat> Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here at my lovely wife Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we snuggle and react to things we've never seen. And today we are reacting to some more Overlord, man. Because Anja Wu is in the building. And apparently that's the name of his guild that he was in or his group. Like mm. when, you know, his homies was active up in the um, game before it got canceled mm -hmm. or the servers got shut down or mm -hmm. so they say. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to learn about this world. You know, um, apparently there's a lot of expansive lore that explains things, you know, like how the real world is so toxic in air and all that. And they have to like eat on these nutrient things or I don't know what it is, like some kind of feeding so tubes or something. So basically it just seems to me, because I was very confused, I'm like, this man talking about, I was using my PTO to play this game. And I was like, you was using PTO to play the game? Right. And uh, somebody explained that it is because apparently the real world is so trash that you would rather use your PTO to play the game. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, you know what, it's his PTO. I guess he can use it for whatever you want. Um, But yeah. Yeah, the last time we left off, we found ourselves in some kind of conflict revolving around the Sunlight Scripture and this guy named Gazov Stronov, who happens to be one of the best swordsmen up in this universe, I guess. And they were trying to decide if they should destroy this village. Um, at least the Sunlight Scripture people were. Uh, Gazov, he was trying to protect it, but he knew he couldn't really do it like that, so he asked Einzo Ogun if he would do the honor since he's so mighty and powerful and to which you know my nigga eyes he agreed you know he got his um his name that he's trying to build he up switched now places with the guy right yeah yeah gave him some kind of little weird souvenir yeah. that allowed them to switch places just in case he was about to die you know so that was pretty cool i also like how he's trying to like keep a positive image you know because he doesn't really have the most welcoming presence you know having to face a literal death so um it was cool that he disguised it like that you know i like that it's like you got these other guys on the other hand who look so welcoming and virtuous with these angelic looking aesthetics and stuff and they supposed to be super powerful but yet this guy is just running circles around he's been him. playing the game so long and so hard that he done leveled up so much they, right. they can't see him now, last time, I was not feeling the first two episodes at all. I wasn't feeling nothing that day, honestly. Uh, but the second two episodes, I really enjoyed. I'm actually ready to get back into it. So Yeah, I am too, man. Like, I am really loving how <laughs> OP this dude is and you say that to I your real house. I love it, actually. I'm like, if I can get past the other cringe activities that go on in the show, then... That is one of my favorite things when there is a character that is so OP, like I know it doesn't matter who it is, they're about to get depleted. Exactly. So let's see what uh, my man is going to be up to next, man. It's going to be episode five titled Two Venturers. So let's do this. Two of things. I have information from the man we captured. He's from the Slain Theocracy and commands their special ops unit. The Slain Theocracy. It's a theocratic nation that wishes to unite humans against all other races. Mm. If given the chance, they'd wipe out the entire population of ogres, goblins, and lizardmen. I believe it would be too dangerous to have any contact with them now. There's one last thing. What should we do about the people we saved? Don't do anything that would make the citizens of Khan Village see us in a negative light. We gained that foothold on friendly terms, and I wanted to stay that way. Good job. I am unworthy of such praise. You are too kind. <laughs> I need you to take me right here and now. Hey. Please do whatever you want to me, my love. Hmm, what should it be? Bone in or bone out? I programmed you to have these feelings towards me. That's all. I uh. honestly don't see what the problem is. Uh. Tell me something. Are you truly disturbed by my feelings? Yes. Is my love a burden? Yes. <laughs> relationship can move to the next level. Hey. I'm so happy that we both agree on this issue. But I messed with the settings tabula designed for you. Bro. She gonna say anything to try to get in your draw. Exactly. And so is she. I hope you are doing well on this beautiful day. I am doing very well, as I hope you are, Shouty. Is there something I can help you with? Oh no, my day has already been improved just by laying eyes on your exquisite form, my lord. Well, if that's all you needed. 
Why you can you leave. Bother someone else? <laughs> Lord Ives and I are busy right now, and your pathetic flirting has interrupted. Damn! Wow. The old ladies can be such a bore, don't you? You can take your ass back to school, girls. Understand because they've passed their prime. You're trying to pass yourself off as young and perky. But I know the truth about your two little friends that have suddenly appeared. Stuffing your bra. Ha 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 Can't face off! Remind me which one of us is a walking cadaver! Fuck it off, you two. You're acting like children. Right. I'm getting ready to depart from my assignment with Sebus. As I understand it, you may be away from Nazarene for quite a while. I wanted to make sure I said a proper goodbye to my lord before I made my exit. And eh? I didn't leave without one last look at you. <laughs> well, Maria. <laughs> Fortress City, e -rat -tail. Oh, he coming in with the armor on? Nightmare. I love that. Need a room? Cost you five bronze pieces each. Meals are good. I only need one room. Thanks. Forget the meals. Mm. Oh, you're a low level copper plate. This place is gonna be too It's our first time registering. Unfortunately, they make you stud at copper. Now it's seven bronze pieces. Payment due up front. That's not a problem. The room is upstairs in the back. Watch where you're going, you big oaf! Why are you giving me this day? man's face? Mm -hmm. Look here! Perhaps your little vixen can kiss it and make me feel better! Shut up. <laughs> Not even in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Your uncivilized behavior is quite amusing. I can't help but laugh. What? Hey! Let me tell you something, son. Look at that. You're not so funny when you can't breathe, are you? Oh. Wiggling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just crushed her so, potion. Does anyone else have something humorous they want to say about my companion? God yeah, damn it. Because I... <laughs> I cannot believe this! What the hell, man? Wow. You just spilled my potion all over the floor back there! Excuse me. But I believe these men should reimburse you. You really think these drunks can pay me back? Mm. I doubt they've ever seen a piece of gold in their life. You are the other fake man. Mario over here. some expensive looking armor, and I'm betting you have a healing potion or two in there. I'd be happy with getting one of those. Actually, I do. <gasps> Bitch, Wait. calm Wait. down. Here you go. <laughs> hey. She don't play. She just right. she be ready to. That makes us even, right? That looked better than the one you sure. had. For now. Comes in a fancy container. Like some lipstick. It looked like yeah, some damn. Uh, have to stay in such a small what's this shit called? Philosopher Stone Juice. What are we going to do about the woman who took your potion? As a non-level adventurer, she currently outranks us in this city. It's best to let her be for now. We'll deal with her later in private. Probably I end up recruiting her or something. something. What are your thoughts on humans? Complete garbage. Seriously, her too. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. They don't really care for these humans like that. Control your hostility while you're in public. We should discuss our plan of action while in Iran town. Yes. No. Uh, okay then. Girl, get it together. Shit. Our main objective in the city is to gather knowledge about this new world we've been transported to. In order to obtain said information, we will go undercover as low-level adventurers. We will gain experience by completing the Matrix, tests. right? With our skills, we should quickly reach the highest ranks of Mithril, Orichalcum, and Adamantite. Flawless plan, my lord. I'm in awe. It's Momon. Which are wrong, <laughs> There is one problem. Our currency is worthless. Wow. The majority of our money is gold from Atrasil. We can't use it. It would be publicly announcing that we came from somewhere else. And if there are other players... I thought he had more money. City, there is no guarantee that they would be friendly towards us. Therefore, our first goal is to make ourselves some money. Let's find a job! Welcome. Uh, are you Mr. Inferia Baliar? Yes. And how may I help you today, Miss? Those are women. I need you to appraise a potion for me. You've got to see this! Hmm? It's red! What do you know about it? That's an elixir. I need to examine it properly. So this is Lizzie Balear, the famous pharmacist? She's the best there is. Though I may be biased. Of course you're going to think that it's your grandma. I'll my appraised magical item spell. It should detect any enchantments. Tell me, Inferia, 
the modern manufacturing process causes all potions to turn blue. Correct? That's right. Well, this. I've never seen anything like it. It's made of pure magic, like something from a fairy tale. A true potion of healing resembles the color of God's own blood. Mm. I never believed it actually existed. There are people out there who would kill to get their hands on a potion this Yeah, you better not be moving too reckless out there. No, though. You wouldn't have to worry if you sold it to me. But I... Mm. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to kill your ass. <laughs> All right. I have another proposition for you. Oh. Get killed by number four from Kids Next Door over there. Right? It would be a waste of our talents to accept a mere copper plate quest. I understand, but the rules are very clear. <sighs> I hate this in video hard. games. It's like you don't meet the right criteria or levels. Sorry if we came across as pompous. Hey, mister. Mm -hmm. You two could join our adventuring group if you're interested. Hell no. Really? Some hammer niggas like y'all. <laughs> and fucking, um... Uh, Lord Zeus back there. Right. right. Everyone. We call ourselves the Swords of Darkness. I'm Peter Mork, the lame name. Over to my left is our ranger, LeCrute Volve. He's our eyes and ears in the field. Well, you like you belong uh, in uh, Rising of the Shield. He you know? do. He <laughs> do. He does. magic to heal us and nature. Dying Wood Wonder. Wood Wonder. Nice to meet you, folks. And last but not least is the brains of the operation. Our magic They're like an older Dina, version of Puck. The spellcaster. Hello there. Ooh, that Puck, what's my nigga name? Eatsy Dota? I telling you that nickname is embarrassing. Why? You know you should be proud of it. This is Moby, and I am Momon. Glad to have you all watching our backs. So, about this Baliar guy. What kind of talent does he possess? You don't know? There's absolutely no way you guys are from around here then, and that actually explains a lot. You're correct. We just arrived yesterday. He's the grandson of a well-known pharmacist in Erantel. He was born with a talent that allows him to use any and all magical items without training. Mm. Impressive. That could be useful. Agreed. Our current objective is to destroy all the monsters that have wandered too. God, he looks to just city. like the damn you were hired to sword the hero. Monsters. Not really. Or was it it's the, actually was it the sword the hero or the spirit hero? We decided to take on by ourselves. Yes. What does that mean? Yeah. We weren't exactly hired to do it, but the guild will receive money from the city based on the strength of the monsters we defeat. We just have to collect our reward from the guild. I get it. It's like earning coins by collecting item drops. So, you interested in joining us? Our plan is to start clearing out the forest just south of the city and working our way north. What do you say? The experience will help you rise above a copper plate. Sure. We're happy to come along. <laughs> One thing. I should show you all my face oh. since we will be working together. Yes. Gaze upon me. Shock. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, interesting. I've heard of a country south of here where a face like yours is common, but you're the first that I've met in person. He's older than I expected. Damn. Don't be so rude. I've been hiding my face. Come on, man. Y'all can at least show us. Sometimes people have issues with fullness. I like Toby Maguire. <gasps> I have no clue this face is an illusion. Yeah, I was thinking that. Mr. Momon? Yes, my busty maiden. Someone specifically requested you for a job. Do you know who asked for me? Yes, Mr. Inferior Balion. <laughs> Inferior? Let's go. Oh. Stop and think before you act. Yeah. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I know you mean well, but you have to learn not to overreact to harmless situations. Understand? They don't trust nothing and I really can't blame I'm the one that specifically right. requested you. I'm sorry to disappoint, but we have already accepted another position. Perhaps after we have finished this job, we can help you. Don't be ridiculous. This could be big for you. I agree to join up with your group. What kind of man would I be if I did not keep my word? Okay, how about this? I will listen to Mr. Baliar's proposition and then make my choice. Mm. My name is Inferia Baliar. I'm a pharmacist here in the city. Your job would be to protect me while I harvest some herbs in the forest near Karn Village. Karn Village? Aside from escorting me there and back again, I'd like he to just know came from there. The small herbs that I need. A bodyguard assignment. I'm still confused by one thing. What's that? Why did you request me for this job? Huh? Because you. I'm new to the area and don't have any acquaintances. In He's trying to see where you got that magic yeah, from, that potion. Exactly. Yourself came to know my name. May I ask how you heard of me? I caught wind about what happened with you at the inn yesterday. The fight at the inn. Yeah. 
A recent customer of mine told me about how you easily took down several higher ranked adventurers who are accosting you and your partner. Does anyone have another question? No, we're ready to leave whenever you are. I can't shake the feeling okay. that something is off here. Right. Me but either. Let's get going. There's no time to waste. So at least you were to sacrifice somebody. She went right? crazy. Once she got the great face. I told you to stop calling me that. Hey, <laughs> Uncle Fester. It's disrespectful to the great name of Zoranon. So tell me, why have you come here? <laughs> I thought you might be interested in this. My god, one of the treasures of the slave theocracy. Mm. Our favorite shaman princess wore that crown of wisdom. Oh, I know. A sweet little thing was going crazy while wearing it. So I did her a favor and snatched it off her pretty head. As a former member of the Black Scripture, you should be well aware that this item suppresses the soul of its bearer and turns them into a magical conduit. It's incredibly dangerous. Simply touching it could have meant your end, and yet you did it anyway. Boring! There's a one in a million chance you could find a person who's compatible. Without a true match, it's just a very fancy piece of garbage. That's why I came. As a fellow member of the Society of Zuranon, you have to help me. Isn't that right, Kajideo Badantel? Kajideo? No, Tarasu. That's a real one. What do you want from me? I've heard rumors about a talent holder in town that can use any magical item at will. Do you think he can ah. make this crown work for little old me? I highly doubt that you need my assistance, kidnapping a defenseless boy. Normally, no, but I intend to cause a bit of an uproar in the process. You plan on using chaos as your means to escape the city. How's this? I'll participate in your ritual if you're a good boy and help me out. Lord. Pretty enticing, right? Right, I can't to turn that off and down. Let's figure out how to grab that talent holder. Let's do this. Ah, oh, man, so much to do, so much to figure out, and so many nefarious plots to stop. Yeah. That was episode five, man. So, Momonga, you know what I'm saying? He, um, trying to figure out about this, how this city is, this, this new world that he's in, you know what I'm saying? He trying to, he's trying to lay low, but he's not doing a very good ain't. job. If it was me, I'd have just made myself appear to be the most small, meek-looking person. Yeah, I would have just... If you can use illusions for your face, why not just use illusions for your entire body and dress like you ain't got no more, like, right. rubber-based armor on? You know, some of the, the lowest forms of armor. But, you know, he I guess he's still trying to figure it out because even... His faction is wondering why he be dressing like that, you know, why he doing certain things, you know. I, he's doing it from like I guess a gaming standpoint, but they're this is their actual world, so they're like, What what are you doing? Right. Um, at least that's how I think it's going. Mm -hmm. But now he's got oh he's like, Well, I don't think this is a good idea. Something seems fishy about this. It does. I don't I didn't know if the pharmacist boy was the one that was fishy or if something bad was gonna happen, but now we see that these people in this dark uh cult or whatever it is are yeah. trying to kidnap him as we speak so yeah yeah um if i'm not mistaken it seems like uh during this escort mission to gather these uh herbs and shit like that for spells for boliar they're probably gonna come across this crazy chick you know they're gonna probably have to cross mm -hmm. this damn um cemetery or whatever i think that's the plan heading over to coronet because or she gonna in broad daylight just start trying to try yeah. something so. she's gonna be hiding in the shadows waiting to make her move so yeah uh overall i give this episode a solid a thank you baby. yeah so anyways guys we're gonna keep it moving and grooving to episode six what is this episode titled can you tell me please no i don't care to see no clip i don't care to see no clip god damn it y'all kill me man i hate funimation y'all um, what the hell is the episode name, Bastard? I don't know why you have to do Journey. That. Journey. Let's take a journey, y'all. Gather around the campfire. Let's take a journey. Here we go. Enjoy this. Things will get a little dangerous from here on out. Don't worry about us. We'll be careful. I'll have to be, considering I can't use most of my magic in this armor. Right. Playing the tank roll was never really my speed. Yeah, that's the thing. I forgot. He's going to be restricted from certain abilities. Here, he can only use his sword for the sure most part. Facing, mm -hmm. But hopefully that will be enough. 
Try not to look so worried, Nave. Everything will be fine as long as I'm here. I'm the best set of eyes and ears this side of the Riestes kingdom. Boy, if you don't go... Don't be shy. You can praise me. Can I squash him yet? Nave. Mosquito should be handled without mercy. Please, sir. Harsh, but it's okay, gorgeous. I so can tell you want me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this wise king? It's a very old and powerful magical creature. At least, that's what the legend He also like that little boy from the dessert. magic, but it's physically strong. It was in the band of the Hawks. Don't finish you off. It's oh. snake tail, Will. Interesting. I think I'd like to meet it. Wow, she's all hot and body. Oh, you have your own accommodation. What? Why are you in Lord Ein's room? <laughs> I was rubbing my scent into everything I could. I wanted it to be the first thing he smelled when he finally returned. Man, you're the choice of my life. Sleep. I doubt that will happen. Don't overdo it. <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what you mean, but we'll try. Right, Lord Ives. The fuck is that? A life-sized body pillow. Wow. Yeah. Isn't it great? <laughs> I made it myself. Now I'm working on the socks and clothes for our first time. So they have those in this world too? It won't be much longer. I can feel it. I just realized. You always seem super relaxed, Nave. Is it because you know that I'm keeping you safe? It has nothing to do with you. I'm with Mr. Momon. Oh. Mm. Humble yourself, so, my dear. What you're telling me is that the two of you are lovers after all? Oh, no, I never said that. Stop putting words in my mouth. Lady Albedo is the only <laughs> one he needs Stop, by his woman. side. What are you thinking? Shit. Your servants are terrible. Yeah. With <clears throat> keeping secrets and Mr. staying Mr. on code. Please stop looking into our personal lives. Uh, sure. Please forgive him. I promise he doesn't mean anything. Clack him in his jaw, please. Please. It's fine. As long as he's careful from now on, we'll have no trouble. Oh shit, galloping golems! Well, they all look like they didn't get no sleep last night. For real. Why they let them down, hey, goblins from Dragon's Dogma? You remember that Mr. anime we watched? The CG the one? The split the group up? All of you should stay close to Inferior. I'll show him that our services are worth everything. Yeah, let's see what you can do, man. I want to see how his skills are as a source. Watch. You'll have all the extended support we can muster. I'll use my fortress martial art and hold back the ogres. The yeah, goblins like you got a receding hairline. I thought that. It's like, what is going on with his hairline? He's got that helmet hair. Right. Like that race car driver here. You'll take care of any wayward goblins. And if an ogre gets past me, take it out. I Dale er Earnhardt Jr. For you, Mr. Momon. Yes. <laughs> here goes. Is that a bomb? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Force armor! Let's go. Now point black! Nice. That's cool. Shit, they just walking up like they about to destroy everything. I bet he just as powerful with his swords. Find out. Those look cool. He got the Cervante style, y'all. Let's go, Soul Blade. Submit. Not today. Oh, that is CG now. He's stronger than I thought. Could he be Aura Calcum? Or maybe Adamantite level? Adamantite? What's wrong? Afraid to attack me? I thought they said auriculum. I didn't know it was auricalcum. I guess I must have been saying it wrong the whole time. It's like a material up in RPGs. Yeah. I kind of gathered that, but I'm like, I don't really. Hey. Yeah. Somebody help the baby. About time. This good party. They will wear each other's strengths and work well together. Still, they don't hold a candle to my own allies. Let's go! We got that custom made Todd McFarlane armor, baby. Let's get it! I'm flexing on y'all right now. Who else want to get slashed up? Don't run now! No, 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 come back! We were just trying to party! Stop struggling! Zip zip! Damn! Ooh, it's a little one! 
sell your bone? Not on their own, but you can exchange them in other parts for a reward from the guild. It can be pretty lucrative. Mm. So crystals or rare trinkets don't just randomly drop from them. To be honest, I've never even heard of ogres carrying crystals or trinkets. I see. I wouldn't mind having a sword like that. I've seen incredible fighters before, but I wouldn't be surprised if you're stronger than the royal head warrior. Aw, oh, shucks. It's moments like these that remind me there is always a bigger fish in the sea. Don't worry. In time, your team will be able to defeat even greater odds with ease. <laughs> One eyes when you take slide it down the hill. What should I do? If I drink it, it'll go between my bones. But what's the matter? Is the soup too hot? I mean, y'all could just turn the shit down. If that's the case, I can let it cool in my mouth first. And shit. To you that what way. a raggedy dude. <laughs> She's gonna kill this nigga before this episode is over with. The food's fine. We're just observing a religious custom. In our faith, it's considered impolite to eat with several people the same day we take another's life. Oh. You believe in some interesting teachings, Master Momon. I respect that. I've been wondering, where did the name Swords of Darkness come from? That's what I wanted to know. Ah, that. Tell him, Nina. Don't make me! I was young and stupid. It really is nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a reference to the old legends. The Thirteen Heroes. We named our party after the swords of one of the fabled warriors. Among the Thirteen Heroes, there was one called the Black Knight who wielded four powerful swords known only as the Swords of Darkness. Uh-oh. Ooh. See, when we started our little group, our ultimate goal was to find the swords for ourselves someday. You all seem very close. Is it common for adventurers to get along? Yeah. We all trust each other with our lives. It helps that our team is nothing but guys, too. Throwing a girl into the mix would be distracting. Of course. I think our greatest strength comes from sharing a common goal. It keeps us focused on the future. You're lucky. Amazing things happen when everyone shares the same goal. Were you on a team, Mr. Momo? It wasn't as an adventurer, but yes, I was. Once, when I was weak and alone, only night clad in one armor saved my life. It led me to the people I would eventually call my comrades. Mr. Momon. Don't worry. I'm sure that you'll find more allies just like them one of these days. That day will never come. Mm. Yeah, another child. Excuse me. That's how you gotta do it, man. Like, set your ass up. No, man. That day ain't coming anytime soon. Yes, I think I'll join you as well. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, serious skill. Momon could probably give even the Royal Head Warrior a run for his money. Huh? But that would make him adamantite class. Do you actually believe he's the same level wow. as the strongest adventurer? Period. Why are they all women? What's That's up? What I'm saying. Hey man, it be like that sometimes. Well, they do distract the warriors with their beauty before they slash them down. Much of them when we first met. If they dumb enough well, to be distracted, I that's all them. Jealous of his full set of plate armor. Fess up, you were ugly, now be like the rest of us. Yeah, right. But now, after seeing his skills firsthand, I can't help feeling inadequate. Hey, he's got a few years on you. It's entirely possible that he's been training for much longer. Hold on, how do you know that he's older than Peter? Back in town, he took his helmet off for a moment and we got a good what look. What country is he from? Uh, I need to know! Sorry, we didn't ask for specifics. He's the same race as Nabe, which might be why they're together, but she could easily get someone much higher. Right, so you got an oriental look to in the face? Besides, with skills like that, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have trouble getting with women of any race. Women instinctively flock to men with strength, no matter their looks. Putting aside his physical looks, his strength is the real deal. And judging by the quality of his swords and armor, he's obviously quite wealthy. I want to know what they, what his face, his human face looks like. How do you two? They ain't gonna show it though. All right, spill it. She's well, probably how you look in real life. There's this girl. I can't help being afraid that she might fall for him once we get to Karn. Ooh. It's stupid, I know. Is that all? Don't worry, I'll teach you all the ways to make a woman's knees bow. <laughs> Please knock this nigga out. He's just hit him with some bread. Yes, that's some hard ass bread, but it works. For real. So what that shit made out of adamantium? Adamite? Whatever you call it? What kind of person is she? Just keep trying. If you give up, it's all over. We'll even help support you at no extra charge. Come on! You think this kid like it. five? What's yeah, going on here? Be persistent. <laughs> no, seriously, I was thinking they were about 12. Ah! <laughs> Here she go. Y'all said I'm talking about girls. Much. It's gonna be a girl, all right. Wow. 
right through the eyeball. Take that. Why are you doing this? Because you peddle information and I need someone a talented pharmacist. You want inferior Balia? There, I told you! Now please let me go! Oh, silly man! You could be lying to me. I should be thorough. If you want proof, all you have to do is ask the other brokers. They'll tell you the same thing, I'm sure of it! You're taking the fun out of this. Fine, I'll put it another way. I love killing. Bloodshed is my one true passion, my art! And I need practice. Oh, did I mention torture? Oh, God. <laughs> Get my ass up out of here! I didn't say you could leave! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that woman? This poor guy. <sighs> oh. oh wow, she's probably gonna turn him into a servant. Oh my, that was painful! <laughs> it is, but I feel fantastic. <laughs> good, very good. My personal you sim. Tell me what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Oh god, they finna make the thriller zombies. Of course. So they got a fetty wop zombie. Sure is great at making zombies. But I think you might be going a little overboard with it. Because you keep playing around. I like my work. You need to focus, Clementine. I've spent years preparing to turn Erantel into a city of death. But for my plan to work, I need its people to be alive. Oh, right. That spiral of death thingy. Precisely. The same ritual that our exalted leader once tried. If done correctly, it will turn the capital into a pit of undeath overnight. If I use this to collect the power of the death fuck is in that its wake, a my dream of immortality will at last be realized. It's always an ugly conehead dude who if wants immortality. If your right. to cause me trouble, you'll be the next zombie I create. Hey. You're more foolish than I thought. Don't be mad. That was nothing more than a love tap. A love tap. <laughs> that's a lie. You always manage to impress, Dodgy. It's sexy. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. I'll be sure not to bring my playthings home. That work for you? Oh, this crazy bitch is gonna be the death of me. Hard to believe she was once a black scripture. Her power earned her the ninth seat of their order, but that So all of these factions, or at least the more prominent ones, have the word scripture at the end of their name. Yeah, that's that's interesting because like um, the other one, Sunlight Scripture, we saw them and they were more like holy type spellcasters. These people are evil. Yeah, these or are like more dark. Shit, they both evil. These people are more dark though. Right, right. Yeah, so they gonna be fighting all types of scripture uh, factions, man. Cause this girl right here, she got her um little plans and shit to. Try to find some shit. Oh, uh, what's her name? Clementine. Know, yeah, yeah. I know her. I her name. My darling Clementine. She trying to find the boy. He trying to make the city of the undead. Right. They both crazy. Um. What else do you want? But I mean, it looks like they're you know they're getting acquainted with the guild that they're in or the the little uh, club. What, what do you, what do they call it? Um, the Swords of Darkness. Them. Them. They're getting acquainted with them. Um, I don't even know what I think about this episode. I mean, right now, it's like we're just getting a feel for some of these characters. Yeah, it's setting up for the next big thing. I thought they were going to come and just crash the party, crash the campfire, and kidnap the boy. But it looks like they're, you know, there's a little more building, so... Right. I guess I could give this episode an A. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A plus. Like now that we're getting uh, more invested in some of these characters, I have a nagging suspicion that they're not gonna be around for too long, especially with Clementine, who already seems to be getting her army. Right, in you order. think these dudes are gonna die? Oh yeah. Anytime they have like a little scene by the fire, that's yeah, an where indication. Yeah, everybody's all cuddled up. Everything's nice. Right. Yeah. Everybody's giving out their dreams and ambitions and what Hopefully they've been they through. Don't 
I mean, they were having a hard time with those fucking trolls or goblins, so there's no telling. Yeah, I guess. I guess I won't be so shocked if that does happen, so I guess we'll just have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see, man. But in the meantime, um, that's going to do it for us, guys. If there's anything that we may have missed or gotten misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below, if you please, <laughs> without spoiling us. Ooh. But this is your boy, RBG, a.k.a. The Random oh, Black Gamer. My lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the Always Got a Yawns and Twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Overlord. Peace.